Yeah, I'm so I'm so grateful to have this place, the Goa Balanced View Centre, uh, to to come here and spend like quite some months here to train up in accessing <coughs> my true nature. Like this is just the mo it's like a the most amazing platform, the most amazing school coming here and educating myself in reality, what's real. Learning to recognize myself as sky-like, open, vast, pure, perfect love. This is who we are. And this sky-like, perfect love, in Balanced View we just call that open intelligence. And you can introduce yourself to open intelligence right now just by stopping thinking just for a moment. Pausing all descriptions. Just stopping. And there it is, that perfect love. It's just there. Just completely available for you in every moment. Didn't need to do anything to get that. That's always there. <clears throat> this sky-like open intelligence, this perfect love, this is who we are. And so every day coming to the centre here and reminding ourselves that that's what we are. Because for so many years before I came to Balanced View before I knew about open intelligence. I thought that I was my thoughts, my emotions and my sensations. That's when I went to school, that's what everyone taught, that's what all the people around me were doing. If you had a good job, if you had positive thoughts, if you had um, if you were happy, if I wasn't depressed, if I didn't experience negative thoughts, then I was a good person and I, I could get on really well in life. But if I happened to be somebody who had lots of negative thoughts and wasn't achieving the conventional norms, not in a relationship, without kids, um, not earning good income, then this was complete failure. And so then whole, that my whole life is just like this striving to achieve, to be better, to get rid of all of the negative thoughts, emotions, sensations, so that I could only experience positive thoughts, emotions and sensations. And in Balanced View, we just call this data streams. Data streams are just all thoughts, emotions, sensations. Anything that appears for us is a data stream. Physical pain, data stream. Anger, hatred, data stream. Happiness, joy, data stream. Just everything. And so what we start to see when we start to recognize ourselves as open intelligence we see that all data streams are completely inseparable from perfect, pure love, open intelligence. Completely inseparable, like the colour blue in the sky. Inseparable. So it's not like these angry thoughts and then you've got open intelligence and then I've got to get into a state of not thinking to recognise open intelligence. Or I've got to get rid of all of the negative thoughts in order to recognize open intelligence. That's not it at all. Open intelligence includes all data streams. Everything our whole life that we've tried to get rid of, included in open intelligence, as open intelligence, inseparable from open intelligence. And we see that well, when we recognize that all data streams are inseparable from open intelligence, then we stop trying to change them. We stop trying to want to get rid of them. We just relax all efforts completely. 
and everything that we've been trying to get rid of our whole entire lives, all of the negativity, we just relax in one short moment. We take a short moment of open intelligence whilst the negativity arises. And we see, for the first time maybe, that we can let it be exactly as it is. Like exactly as it is. Feeling unworthy exactly as it is. No need to do anything about it. No need to try to take it away. No need to replace it with a positive thought. We can feel completely afflicted. Intense hatred. Intense frustration. And we can just let it be exactly as it is. And we smile because we see it has no power over us when we're relying on open intelligence. Now, when we're not relying on open intelligence, all this negativity feels like it has a power over us because we react to it constantly, like trying not to feel this negativity. But when we rely on open intelligence, we're in total peace, in total peace with ourselves. We end the war within ourselves. Can really like see the war that went on within me. Every time I felt something negative, bomb that. Get rid of that. I will only be happy when I eliminate all of these negative data streams. And you see that's just exactly what's happening outside in the world as well. So much war going on. People feeling uncomfortable with the way things are, so let's just put a bomb on that country. Let's just get rid of them. And then I'll be happy. Feeling su such intense anxiety with the way things are. Let's just blow up that country. Imagine if everybody had the education of open intelligence. They knew about short moments. They knew that short moments, that open intelligence was accessible right now. And that this anxiety that feels like so extreme that we need to get rid of it, the hatred feels so intense that we need to get rid of it, that we can just let that be as it is. That it has no power over us in one short moment. It's completely outshone. It's like um, at night time, you see all of the stars, the moon, it's shining very, very brightly. And then in the morning when the sun comes up, it outshines all of the stars. You, don't, you just don't notice them anymore. You don't see them anymore. They're still there. They don't go anywhere. They don't disappear during the daytime and then pop back up at night time. They're always there. We just don't notice them. And that's what happens when we take short moments of open intelligence. The sunshine of open intelligence pops up, outshining all of our data streams. Are they there? Are they not there? We just don't care anymore. And uh, for me, it was a really great relief to know about this practice called short moments of open intelligence, just to see that I didn't need to stop my thoughts to recognize open intelligence. Just, just knowing that, that that reality, that was incredible because stopping thinking is really hard to do. Like if you've ever tried it, probably has anybody ever gotten to a point, put up your hand if you've been able to achieve a permanent state of no thoughts. I, I don't know anybody who has been able to achieve that. And I know for myself, um, when I thought that open intelligence was only available through no thoughts, I thought, wow, yeah, meditation is a really great way to, to get no thoughts. So I can try meditating. And then I got the understanding, all right, so Okay, so I can understand now in this type of meditation that I was doing that, um, that okay, so thoughts are always going to come. 
and um, and I could find some meditation practice that supported me to let my thoughts be as they are. And then I would need to do that meditation practice for a few hours every day in order to achieve the results of letting my thoughts be as they are. And if I missed a day of meditation, well, then it was I was allowed to get angry because <laughs> I didn't meditate today. So that's why. So I've got, I've got an excuse of why I'm allowed to act out on my data streams. And then as my life carried on, I saw that, and I, you know, some, I'm not always in India. Sometimes I'm living in the city. It's just felt like, for me, very um, not practical <laughs> to have to have a practice that I need to use every day in order to feel peace, like set out two times, two hours a day or something in order to feel peace. It just wasn't practical for me. I also really loved yoga. I also really love yoga. And that was also a way of like finding some type of comfortability, like after a yoga session. So I just felt more at ease. But if I didn't do my yoga session that day, well, then maybe my partner doesn't want to be around me. So, um, so I found it pretty amazing and quite revolutionary to come here and to be told that I can just take short moments throughout my day whenever I naturally remember to do so and I'll get all the results that I was promised from the meditation class. I get all the results that all of the yoga teachers promised me and I don't need to set out really large chunks of my day to achieve those results. I can just live my day-to-day -day life and I just receive those results just through being me, just through being practical just through getting on with things. Short moments just always available, always there for me. And so that's what I did. I just, just carried on with my day, just taking short moments of open intelligence. And I, and I saw that, wow, I'm, I'm actually getting all of the results. All of the results that I was looking for are just here in one short moment. One short moment, immediate benefit, peace. Comfortability with myself as I am in a really awkward situation. And then one short moment of open intelligence, so comfortable to be awkward. Don't need to go later on and meditate about it. And, um, and then sometimes Balanced View also offers the Four Mainstays and the Short Moments is one of the Four Mainstays. And the Four Mainstays is an empowerment platform that uh, supports you to take short moments, that brings open intelligence alive in your life. And the four mainstays include short moments. This is the practice. This is like, for me, the ultimate meditation that I can just take with me everywhere. And um, I have, we have also trainings incredible trainings, like a one-day training that, we'd, that we're offering tomorrow, which gives such an incredible introduction to open intelligence, where open intelligence cannot be ignored after this introduction in just a one-day training. We have the 12 Empowerments, which is a foundation training, which is offered, which we would like to offer uh, on Monday. It's 12 days of of really getting to see yourself as open intelligence, as perfect love. And we have so many talks available online that are just there for you to use, to just remind you to take short moments, to just see yourself as open intelligence. We have, um, the, and so that's two of the mainstays. Then the third mainstay is the trainer. So after the 12 empowerments, you have access to a trainer a trainer who's just there to completely support you with whatever it is that you're going through. If you feel like you're shutting down again and again, like I know I see that in my intimate relationship. If somebody, if um, all of a sudden, if uh, I feel anger or frustration, I can have the tendency to just close down, don't want to be open, 
want that person to feel that I'm angry so that they feel bad for what they've done. Don't want to connect. And it's so painful that we do that. Just because I'm uncomfortable with the angry and anger and frustration that I feel. It's so painful. And so to have the four mainstays, instead of like shutting down, instead of like deciding that I don't want to connect anymore, to remain open, to have the four mainstays, to write to my trainer and to just say, I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. I hate, I hate, I hate this person and I'm just being really rude to them. And I just, I can't control it. And then my, my trainer giving me specific instruction for me to support me to remain open, to see open intelligence, to see that ha hatred and anger as open intelligence. That I do that with one relationship and then I see the results in every relationship. And then we also have the community. We have all of you, everybody here who's using the Four Mainstays, who's empowering open intelligence in their life, everybody together. This little, this, it's like, may seem like we're doing nothing, just sitting here in plastic chairs, listening to talks every day. But this is, this is the beginning of world peace. Because up until now, it, is ne it hasn't been possible that, that uh, just in the Western society that people have been able to find complete mental and emotional stability. Just like that. It hasn't been possible up until now. We have like thousands of psychology books written. I once went to a psychologist and she said to me, why are you here? And I said, I just want to be happy. And she laughed at me. <laughs> you know, like that there's no, there's no end point with all of these other practices that are going on because the foundation, knowing, understanding our intelligence as open intelligence is not there. To see that we can be completely happy whilst experiencing sadness. To see that open intelligence is just unaffected by anything we're experiencing. This is reality and this is what you're all doing, all demonstrating this in your, in your lives. So it's really amazing that you're all here. You're, we're not just doing this for ourselves, we're doing this for the world. Just one more thing is that um, we don't need to understand why we use antidotes. We don't need to understand our data streams. We don't need to understand our thoughts. We've had so many years of just like trying to work out why is this like this? Why is this like this? Why am I sad? Is it because of this? Why am I eating? Is it because of this? Is it because of this? That's, we don't, just one short moment. Eating, taking short moments allowing all the data streams to be as they are. And that's where you find the result. That's where the immediate benefit is. Thinking about things, it's not necessary. In open intelligence, we understand everything without thinking.